Hi, Els here, and in this video I'm going to walk through the steps required in order to appropriately analyze and record business activities into the accounting system. This is something not addressed in accounting videos, and that's a problem. Why? Because just showing the solution to problems may not indicate the thought process that is going on behind the entry. It is also a problem because we tend to memorize processes over time so we forget the steps that went on behind the entries we made. That's a problem when we're faced with a business activity we've not seen before. Unless we know the steps in the analysis process, we often flounder when faced with new situations. For that reason, we're going to go through the steps in the accounting cycle. When we're faced with a business activity, we always start with Step 1. Read the business activity and decide if it is a transaction or an event. What's the difference? A transaction is a business activity that is realized and measurable. An event is a business activity that is either realized or measurable, but never both, and sometimes neither. What does realized mean? Generally, realized means that there has been an exchange between two parties which resulted in the transfer of goods, services, or cash. This has already occurred. There are exceptions to this. Realized might also mean something like an internally owned asset that has been used or consumed, in which case there is no other party to the transaction. However, in general, realized means an exchange between two entities which has already happened. What does measurable mean? This means it's measurable objectively in monetary terms. In other words, money. A transaction would be both realized, a done deal, and measurable, the dollar amount is known. Transactions must be recorded in the accounting records. An event would be realized, a done deal, or measurable, the dollar amount is known, but not both. So you might have a done deal, but you don't as yet have the dollar amount, or you know the dollar amount, but you have not done the deal yet. In that case, this is an event and events are never recorded in the accounting records. Let's do two quick examples. A business provides consulting services. On July 1st, a client signs a contract with the business that requires the business to provide three months of services in exchange for $12,000. Event or transaction? This is an event. Even though it is measurable, $12,000, it is not realized because the business has done nothing for the client and the client has not handed over any cash. Other examples of events are hiring a new employee who will start in the next week or receiving an order for inventory from a customer but the business will not ship the product out until next week or next month. Let's do a different example. A business provides consulting services. The business has provided services to the client and bills them, sends them an invoice, for $220. The client promises to pay the invoice next week. Event or transaction? It's a transaction. The business did their job, provided the services, so there has been an exchange. Even though the client did not pay, they have promised to pay in the future, accounts receivable, and the amount is known measurable, so the requirements have been met. The business must record this transaction into the accounting system. Let's move on to Step 2. Step 2. Analyze the transaction using the activity analysis questions. There are two critical questions that you should ask yourself every time you analyze the impact of a business transaction. Remember, step one was to decide if it is a transaction or an event. If it's an event, we don't move forward to step two. What are the two critical questions? What did the business get? What did the business give away? We agreed in step two that there is an exchange between two parties or an internal activity that results in the use or consumption of an asset, so the business will always receive something and then give something away. If you are still having a problem determining the impact of a business activity, you can move on to the enhancing questions to clarify your thinking. What did the business earn? This refers to revenues. What did the business use, consume, or incur? This refers to expenses. And finally, 
What does the business owe? This refers to either liabilities or equity through contributed capital. Always start with the critical questions and then move on to the enhancing questions so you're sure what the exchange was. These questions are always asked while you're looking at the accounting equation flowchart. As you ask yourself these important questions, describe both what the exchange was and what financial reporting elements have been affected. Let's continue with our example. Remember, a business provided consulting services. The business has provided services to a client and bills them, sends them an invoice. It's for $220. The client promises to pay the invoice next week. What did the business get? The business got the right to collect cash from their customer in the future. In fact, they received the customer's IOU because the customer owes money to the company in the future. That has future benefit for the company and is due to a past transaction, so it's an asset. The business increased their assets by $220. What did the business give away? A service which was provided to the customer. This means that they have a right to claim revenue because they did their job, provided the service, past tense. The business increases their revenues by $220. The increase in revenue increases profit, increases retained earnings, and therefore increases equity. That shows that our equal sign is still in balance. Increase assets 220, increase equity through revenue $220. We're going to move on to step three in the next video.